Top story here at 530 from our 17 follow-up file. A new report this month from the California High Speed Rail Authority shows the first in the nation bullet train project, ultimately seeking to connect San Francisco to Los Angeles in under three hours, will cost even more and take even longer. As rail officials say the project is making tangible progress, pushback from some lawmakers is heating up. 17's Maddie Gannon visited a rail construction site in Wasco today and has more. High-speed rail officials hope in a decade, this 171-mile starter segment connecting Merced to Bakersfield will be fully operational. I have lost faith in this, this project. In the face of opposition, skepticism, and restlessness, as cost and time rises, California high-speed rail officials urge patience. This is an innovative system of the future, but with innovation, innovation takes time. Innovation takes a lot of hard work. Four years ago, Governor Gavin Newsom unveiled his plan to build the Central Valley segment first. Now, Public Information Officer Augie Blanca says more than 30 sites across 119 miles from Madera to Kern counties are in progress. Across 119 miles of construction, um, a number of high-speed rail overpasses, uh, high-speed rail viaducts or train bridges are already completed um, just to get to that next phase, which would be the tracking system and laying down the track. Blanca says at this site here in Moscow, for instance, the structure that will allow the future bullet train to pass over the existing BNSF freight train line is 95% finished and expected to be done by summer. The portion that will bring it into Bakersfield is still just in the design phase. The 2023 project update report showed kind of the status of the project, but also showed the challenges of the project. The update report released in early March shows the cost of the starting segment stretched from $22.8 billion to as high as 28 to 35 billion. And the day passengers should be able to ride extended to 2033. Things like inflation has impacted the project. The report cites plans for elevated train stations contributing to increased costs too. With the project deeper in the red, authorities say they're hoping to secure more federal funding while Republican opposition is only growing. When can we stop wasting money on this? Report after report, business plan after business plan has identified structural flaws that make this project uh, unworkable. The entire project is now expected to cost $128 billion with challenges ahead, such as connecting Bakersfield to LA with notoriously difficult terrain. In Wasco, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.